Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Twisha and today I am back with a new video on the chapter India Climate, Vegetation and Wildlife. So let's start with today's video. So first we are going to talk about weather. What is weather? Weather can change from day to day, time to time. Let's see an example. Let's say you're reading newspaper, having a pleasant sunny weather. The next moment becomes cool and windy. It blows away your newspaper. What do you think? How could it change? Could the climate have been changed? Or the weather? Or the season even? Yes, you all are right that the weather had been changed. So weather can change in moments as you have seen an example now let's go to the seasons of India seasons are something which change in a period of time so it's a particular period okay particular period like in three months four months five months any period of time so but it's picked fixed and it varies from season to season what is the duration okay so first comes a winter it's cold weather season from december to feb so there are three months so the duration is three months okay then summer the hot weather season from march to may okay so again three months So next comes a monsoon, most favorite season. It's the southwest rainy season. It's also known as basically. So, so it's four months. It's four months, right? Next comes your autumn. Autumn, you can see this kind of season. Leaves flying all over. Okay, so it's known as the retreating monsoon. It's from October and November. So, which is two months. Alright. So, this whole thing makes one year. Okay, it makes one year. Now, let's study about these seasons in detail. First, let's go to winter. So, during this winter season, the sun rays do not fall directly in the region. So, it is said that it is very cold. In winters, you might have known that people say that it is very cold. Okay? So, because it does not fall directly. Okay? It has to pass many obstacles and then it comes there. So, as a result, the temperatures are quite low in northern India. Okay, you might have noticed on your own if you live in northern India. Now next is summer. In the hot weather season, sun rays fall more or less directly in this region. Temperature becomes very high. Hot and dry winds called Lu. You, you know, you have been, you have heard this word Lu. Ki sab bolte ki Lu chal rahi hai. So wear something. Okay, which blows during the day. So, it's very hot and dry in, uh, in summers. Okay, next comes a monsoon, most favorite season. The season is marked by the onset and advance of monsoon. The winds blow from Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. They carry moisture with them. When these winds strike, the mountain barriers, rainfall occurs. Okay. Now next comes autumn. Winds move back from mainland to the Bay of Bengal. This is the season of retreating monsoon. So as I explained to you that it's the retreating monsoon. And it's the southwest rainy season. Alright. Next comes our 
the southern part of india particularly tamil nadu and andhra pradesh receive rainfall in this season so they receive rainfall but we receive autumn so all the leaves flowing all over okay next let's see about the climate so now our topic is climate so climate is about the average weather condition which has been measured over many years the climate of india has been broadly described as monsoon type it could be majorly because uh, generally in every season it rains okay so monsoon comes from the word mausim so this mausim word is an arabic word so it means monsoon due to india's location that in the tropical region most of the rain is brought by the wind next up comes about the agriculture of india so agriculture in india is dependent on the monsoon good monsoon means adequate rains and bounty full of crops so if we have a good monsoon there are bounty full of crops and adequate rains so why do we say this because uh, less water has is used and uh, uh, otherwise droughts come because they need some natural water also okay next comes about the natural vegetation of india so the grasses shrubs and trees which grow on their own without interference of human beings is called natural vegetation okay so in uh, you might have seen that whenever you grow some plants kehte jangli paudhe ug jate hain so those uh, plants are kind of natural vegetation but it does not mean that you can eat it okay vegetation basically means what you can eat it. it's not natural vegetation i was just giving an example so it can vary from the climatic conditions of that place so in delhi delhi let's say okay in delhi let's say it's winter is going on okay now or let's say autumn is going on okay in the other part of india which is andhra pradesh andhra pradesh so here uh what can we say let me think of something okay let's say okra is being grown okra is lady finger okay now let's say okra is being grown so and in delhi its autumn is going on okay so um, what do you think what would have been grown here let's say mango okay i'm just giving an example so it is varying that in uh, andhra pradesh okra is being grown on its own and here mango because it you know it totally depends that what kind of seed you have thrown in that place okay so that matters so the amount of rainfall can also vary due to which it could affect the natural vegetation of that place okay so if there is no rainfall no natural vegetation if there is rainfall there is natural vegetation so now you might be thinking that why i am saying this so uh, there is a particular reason that uh, see if we pour that water into that plant into that sapling it would be the interference of humans but it has been clearly mentioned here that which grows on their own without interference of human beings which means there should be no interference so if there is no rainfall they would not get water and the natural vegetation is not going to be grown okay i hope you understood this topic so if you are confused a bit in this part you can comment okay and thank you for watching this video please like if you like the monsoon season share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you everyone have a nice day